47 years ago this week, February the 20th, 1977. That day is so real in my heart 47 years later because that Sunday evening in Eastman, Georgia, at Central Baptist Church, God called me to preach. I had no thought that day of being a preacher. During the song service, it never crossed my mind. When the speaker we had that night, we had an interim speaker, begin to speak during that, those minutes, God called me to preach. I didn't tell my wife. I didn't tell anyone. The next day, we had a holiday for my job in civil service, so I stayed home, and she had a job in Eastman. And during that day, I tried my best to talk God out of it. I was in the yard doing things in the yard, and in a few minutes, I went to my bedroom and got my Bible. And I flipped my Bible open, just flipped it open. And this verse, the letters seem to be that large. And uh, I'm going to read to you what I read that day in that, in that bedroom. Isaiah 61.1 The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord God anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening up the prison to them that are bound. And I closed the Bible up and said, that's coincidence. Went back outside. Sometime later, I said, I'm gonna try it again. Went back in that bedroom, got that Bible, I just opened it up, same verse. I was called the previous night on the 20th, but that afternoon on the 21st of February, 1977, God confirmed to me through his word that the call was, was, the call was real. My wife came home around five o'clock. We had a small, small supper. I was going to college at night, two nights a week. And I said to her, I got something to tell you. She said, let me tell you what you're fixing to say. I said, okay, go ahead. She said, you think you've been called to preach? I said, how do you know that? She said, for some time, I felt like God would. And I asked him, if he called you, let me know. She said, I know you, he has. And everything started. 47 years later now, still preaching the word of God, enjoying it very much. I've never loved to preach any more than I do now. I've always loved it, but I've never loved it any more than I do now. I've never experienced any more power of God in my life to preach than I do now. It's always been powerful. The Word of God is always powerful. But I've never experienced so much power in the preaching as I do now. And I thank God for it. I never love receiving messages from the Word of God weekly as I do now. I go into preparation each week, open my Bible, and I ask God to lead me to the Scripture, lead me to the messages He tell me to preach. If it all stopped this week, I can say today from my heart, it's been a wonderful trip. You see, these years have passed by so quickly. Everything has gone so quickly. It's not all been a bed of roses in my life. No one can say that. Doesn't matter what you're involved in, no one can say everything has gone well. But I can say today from, from my heart before God, the good has always outweighed the bad. Seeing somebody saved, there's nothing like it. To having a church that worships God, there's nothing like it. I wouldn't trade anything about my life for anything else to be able to say that I'm a preacher. There are several titles that me and Carrie that are preachers. I love the one preacher. I love to hear preacher. I just love that word because it's dear to my heart. I say in our church from time to time, I'm not guaranteed I'm going to make it. I want to make it. I don't want to fail God. I'm really trying not to, but I know we can't say we won't. Take heed when you think you stand lest you fall. But I want to make it to the end. 
I, I want to make sure that because he deserves that, not only for me, but every Christian, he deserves, since he saved us, that you and I can make it faithfully till the end. I'm not sure how many more years I'm going to have. I've been blessed with good health overall and God's strength. And God is placing this church a wonderful staff now. We have a wonderful staff in Clark's Chapel. People are coming now to visit with us and uh, experience God. And I'm not here today sitting in a place of fear about the devil. Because sometimes people say, it's going so good, I'm afraid the devil might step in and do something. Don't worry about that. As long as you understand that the church belongs to God, that the gifts God has given us is from God. And God owns it all. Don't be fearful of the devil. Have a reverence for God. Just respect God and remind the devil who he is and where he's going. So I wanted to share this with you because uh, numbers and many things means a lot to me. A uh, number of years I've been a preacher, I've been here 42 years in Clark's Chapel this past January. I'll be married 57 years in June. I had my first date with my wife in March 28, 1965. We dated two years, two months, and 22 days. We set our wedding date on the second, on the second date, and we stuck with it. Two years, two months, and 22 days later. It got close to our wedding date, and we, and we looked on the calendar. It was a Sunday. It was Father's Day. Think about it. Two years, two months, 22 days before that, we picked out a date, June 18th, and it was it was a Sunday on Father's Day, and we stuck with it. It's a wonderful life. I wish everybody that's lost could understand Christianity as a wonderful life. Everything we face, we face it with God. Everything that we experience, we experience it with God. People today, if, if you're watching this 10 Minutes of Truth, if you're not a Christian, please today stop where you are and ask Jesus Christ into your heart to be your Lord and Savior. I promise you, I promise you, you'll never regret it. Please pray for us when you think about us in ministry to Clark's Chapel in these last days, I really believe in the last days. Worldwide, we have signs of the last days. I want to encourage you, you ministers, your churches too. Let's all stay on fire for God in these last days. We must work. For the Bible says there comes the night when no man can work anymore. We must occupy until he returns. It's no time to take a leave. We all must surrender ourselves in these last days to be faithful to God and be about the Father's business. Thank you so much today for watching this 10 Minutes of Truth. Thank you so much for many of you support us in your prayers, and I thank you so much for it. Thank God he's allowed me to preach 47 years. Until next time, from Clark's Chapel Baptist Church, we trust with God's help that you would have wonderful days.